When we got signed, we were four single guys hungry to be out on the road and tour and to meet girls. Hi, Dan. Um, I saw that you, with your newest album, you released also a documentary mm -hmm. looking back on your career. Right. What was for you the most part that was lost the most in your, in your mind, in your memories, maybe? Um, you know, there's just so much that has happened over the past 10 years. It was, it was pretty cool for us to go back and just look at some of the old footage of, of just some of the big moments. I mean, we remember a lot of the big moments, but then there's just some funny moments, some offstage stuff and, and things like that over the years. And just looking back at the early days of when we were a local band and building up our following in the south suburbs of Chicago and seeing where it's you know grown and what it's become over the years. So. Uh, there was definitely some great, great moments in there. So we wanted to give that back to the fans, a, a free, you know, documentary included uh, for the people that have been along for the ride from the start of our career, or for the fans that are just, that may be new fans that didn't know um, how things started out for us. So we thought it was kind of a cool way to give them a gift back to show them kind of the climb of, of the success of the band. Yeah. One side is, of course, it's nice for the fans, but how was it for you to look at it? Were you involved in the process of the making, or did you <coughs> also maybe saw things that you didn't see for years when you saw um, Very much so. The, the guys that we had hired to come out have become great friends of ours from the beginning. And, and early on and, and during our first album, we thought it was important to really keep close contact with our fans, to keep our our website and our tour diaries and all this stuff documented um, back in the late 90s and early 2000 and we were the one of the first bands that I knew of back then that was that we hired a full-time videographer to, to be on the road with us and to capture as much as they can not just on stage but off stage in our homes in the recording studio um, around our hometowns and just to just to document it all and um, you know, we're just fortunate that the career has lasted over 10 years and we have all this footage piled up. So it was kind of cool to be able to kind of go through that and, and have, you know, the guys editing it and putting it all together, all the footage, like I said, are really close friends with ours. So they, we have a lot of trust and faith in them. And we knew, uh, you know, that they knew how to bring out our personalities because they, they're friends, they know us. Can you recall this moment when you first fought? Because maybe uh, in hindsight, it's of course, a good decision to do it, but was there maybe an occasion or a certain event that, that triggered you to, to hire this guy? Um, <clears throat> just because early on, once we started, you know, once the internet was taking off in a bigger way for, for bands, I mean, we came from the old school way of going out when, and giving out cassette tapes and CD samplers and going to shows and passing out flyers. And obviously this day and age, you can do a lot of this stuff on the internet and people could go to your website and hear your music and flyers. But um, early on, we just thought we, want, we definitely want them to capture those, those, the tour diaries. So when there's certain cities or certain parts of the world that maybe has never seen Disturbed, we thought they could at least go on the internet, go to our website and maybe see some tour diaries and live clips to get a taste of what it's like. And hopefully someday they'll get to experience the live performance. And were there moments or that you maybe when it, it, it was sort of in, in, in conflict with the privacy aspect of the band as well? I mean, for example, Metallica has also do, done similar things where you get really close and, and in certain situations. Did you have also this with, with Disturb for yourself? Um, you know, not really. You know, we wanted to put it out there, you know, and, and I guess, you know, everybody has a different opinion. Some fans may like that and some fans may not like it. You know, if you get too personal, you let them inside of any issues with inside the band or any anything uh, that's that might concern some of the fans. But you know, we, we put it out there. You know, some of three of us are are married now. I got you got to say when there's a scene in the documentary and it's showing kind of the earlier days when there were groupies around and the girls there. I'm you know what I'm like screw it. This is who we are. This is what we did. You know, my wife and our girlfriends or wives have to deal with the fact that that's the way things were when before we were married. You know, is, is the, has that have, have they have they reacted to it? To, to see that? Uh, I'm sure they're not thrilled about it. I mean, no disrespect to them. We, you know, sorry. Yep. Yeah, no, no disrespect to them. We we love them. That's why we married them. But that's who we were in those days, and that's what we did. And 
you know, that comes with the territory. You're in a rock band, and when we got signed, we were four single guys hungry to be out on the road and tour and to meet girls. I mean, you know, we're <laughs> human, you know? <laughs> so we took full advantage of the, that, those situations. Yeah.